Hi, I'm Adam. And I'm Jamie for RC Logger. And today we're going to show you some setup procedures. Uh, for this particular setup procedure, we're going to show you how to calibrate your stock ready to fly Nova X transmitter. And in order to do that, we're going to need some things, right? All right. We need our stock transmitter. Yep. We've already got some AA batteries installed in it, so it's ready to go. We can power it on. We're going to need our Nova X. Right. We got the props off. Yes, always do that. Safety first when we're doing anything uh, with any type of calibrations. Unless you're flying, keep the props off. There you go. <laughs> Better safe than sorry. Absolutely. And we're going to need a brick. Do we have this a brick? thing right here. Yeah, a brick. Yeah. Or yes, LiPo 5200, uh, so it'll give you plenty of flight time. Yeah, and uh, fully charged. Fully charged. Always. Always. So for starters, what we're going to do is we're going to um, show you how to do this uh, calibration procedure manually. However, um, we want to make sure you know this. If you can download the app to do this, you should do that. It's right. a lot easier. It's much faster, right? Yeah, it's much faster, much easier process. Yeah. Uh, it's in the iTunes store and also on the Android market. So if you have either of those operating systems then do that that way uh, much easier process and they'll walk you through everything mm -hmm. as well so. oh we do realize some people don't have that capability so we have a manual way of doing it we just don't advise it but you can do it so let's show them how to do it sure for starters we're going to plug our nova x battery in we've got our transmitter on already give her some juice you're gonna hear some audible tones it's basically letting you know that the uh, nova is arming absolutely go ahead juice right. her up <laughs> nice loud letting is. you know cool yep. uh, and then the uh, Nova X uh, out of the box this is probably going to be flashing slow white we just want to make sure you understand that uh, we've done this calibration procedure a couple times we have a blue flashing LED and we'll go into the color coordination and what all that stuff means in a right, later video right, right. but you should just expect that it should be flashing white um, so what we want to do is we want to remove the canopy and we have to do that safely because uh, there's a small wire right right yeah there's a cable inside that goes from the main flight controller up to the GPS and so we want to make sure that we are very careful so you don't want to just rip the thing off so we're going to take it off and there's a couple uh, tabs there a tab on each yep. side and it won't still just lift up you actually want to push off to one side just slightly and then take it off and you can see the black cable here um, so be careful be very careful when you're taking it off to make sure that you're not putting any strain or stress on that so and we actually just lay the canopy there um, it's great because number one it keeps stress off that cable and then also it lets you see the LED indications for the uh, transmitter getting that set up so yep. it works perfect and for starters the reason we did this the reason we take this canopy off is there's a small button on here right. and that button's going to let us get into the calibration menu functions uh, what we're going to do is hold that button down for two seconds for starters and you're going to notice that the LED is going to change colors. It's going to go to solid red with a solid blue LED on the bottom. Right. And that solid red lets us know we're in the transmitter learning procedure, but we need to start it. And in order to start it, we have to give that button a double tap. So we're going to double tap that button right now. And then the LED starts flashing. That lets us know we're in the menu and we're ready to begin the calibration process. Awesome. Fantastic, man. Cool. So for starters, what we're going to do is we're going to learn the channels of the radio. And by doing that, uh, we're going to show you mode two radio, right? Right. So mode two, the throttle's on this side. We're going to move the throttle from the middle, which is spring loaded, down to zero, and then back to the middle again. We get an audible tone. Right. And that lets us know that channel's been recognized. Also, too, uh, we also have the blue LED, which was flashing once, is now flashing twice. Right. And uh, so something to note is for every channel that you learn, the LED will flash to the next sequence. So uh, after channel two, it'll go to three, three beeps. beeps for, and so on and yeah, so forth until it's done. until it's completed. So. Cool. so we've got the throttle recognized. The next thing we need to do is recognize the rudder channel. So we're going to move the rudder to the left. Back to the center, we get another audible tone, another flash. Right. We're good to go. So now we want to do the elevator channel, which is the next channel to learn. We're going to move the elevator stick forward and let it go. And then we're going to do the aileron channel next. We're going to move the ailerons to the left and let it go. So every time we do that, we get that audible tone letting us know. Right. And the key on these is to always bring them back to center. Yeah. So. Now, we need to recognize some of our switches because the switches perform different, different functions. The first switch we're going to recognize is switch B. We're going to move it from position 1 to 3 to 1. And then we need another three-position switch, and that's going to be switch C. We're going to move it from 1 to 3 to 1. And we also need one more two-channel switch. We're going to switch A. We're going to move it from 1 to to one. Now it's important to kind of get through that process relatively quickly because right. if you don't have as many channels, the Nova X will actually time out. It'll store however many channels you recognize. And 
it'll beep twice, just like that, letting you know that it has finished its calibration procedure. So now we've completed our channel recognition procedure. Um, What we wanna do is basically unplug our Nova and put our canopy back on carefully. Okay. Just don't grab or rip any of the wires or anything like that and you should be fine. So uh, I think that pretty much covers everything for this. Again, if you can use the app, use the app. You don't have to pull the canopy off. It just makes life a lot easier. So I think we covered everything. Sure, absolutely. I think we're good to go. Hey guys, we want to thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, you can always find us at support.rclogger.com. Absolutely. Catch you guys later. Thanks, bye.